Welcome to jobskillshare.com. Today I'm making another quick tools video that is under help the support specialist course. So once you go to this course, uh, go to the learning path. Let me go back here, learning path. And once you click on learning path, this video will be under my tools section. Uh, it's going to be right here you go all the way bottom and then on the left side you see it's going to say troubleshooting tools you click on that and then you'll see remote support home slash other users so Danny what do you mean by that okay I'm going to give you examples and this is how I always do it so let's say for example you have a student uh, sorry a user uh, at work and um, he he basically go out for a convention or somewhere um, he borrowed a laptop from somebody means that he's not using your VPN system anymore he's using a laptop that, that does not have a VPN system but he wants you to uh, remotely help him with something that he you know that he will he's not is not going to be able to fix it on his own so you need to basically log into that machine and do your stuff so how would you do that in an easy way? Uh, what what are some tools out there um, that can help you out? And I'm going to show, share only one tool that I always use. There are many, many, many tools for remote uh, helping other people. There are, there are some goods, there are some uh, hard ones. But to me, the easiest one, so far I have sold so many, I don't know how many of calls like that. And I never had any issue, issues with it. And this is why I'm using only one tool today and they will give you an idea for a new IT person or your, your new in IT this is also a part of our help desk feel that we do get calls like that from home users from users that goes to different places and then they use different uh, computers that are not managed by us so we need to get into these computers and we need some kind of way to get in so this is how we do it so the first thing you need to do is go to this link join.me once you type join.me it will take you to this link as a tech you should be you should have this on your screen and then you tell for example Sam is the person that I'm working Sam is a person uh, is my example user and his computer laptop is on and you tell him that okay you have an internet connection go ahead Sam type join.me on his computer so he will type join.me and tell him okay Sam go ahead click on start meeting and uh, click on that little play sign and he's be like okay I clicked on it uh, then what is he's just gonna wait for a little installation uh, well let's just see what's gonna pop up right now so that he will see this he'll tell it okay Sam run that application it could be from Chrome it could be from IE so he's going to start uh, downloading it and then you tell it okay run that join.me.exe and Sam is like okay I'm running that application and just tell him to wait a little bit and then okay Sam is telling you that oh I got um, a code or some number on the top of the screen and you tell Sam can you give me that number only so what you do at your screen you ask Sam and he's gonna give you that number right now what we will do is let me put it down and on your computer you type that number 226281 uh, dot whoops six three four and then you just click on play and there you go you are looking at Sam's computer right now then what you do is on the right here let me just go back here here on the plus sign you click on that and say request control okay Sam is going to get a message and say can a viewer have control and you say, tell Sam to click yes Sam is going to click yes and now you have control over Sam's computer you can now click on and do whatever you want to do as a tech and it could be multiple problems that you're helping with the IE browser whatever issues the main reason is how quickly can you get to his computer without any trouble or without too much explanation too many emails to tell Sam do this install this do that do no we just I just want to get in there get the number get into his computer get the thing done close the call and you're you you solved that solution other things you can do is chat I mean most of the time I never use other um, problems but let me tell you what on the cool other cool feature in this thing first of all you can it can um, you can do conference up to 10 people with this uh, I mean this is free 10 um, if you pay by the paid one it's 250 but 
I always use it for free like you know I just want to get in and just make sure just solve the solution for somebody home users or anything like that they don't have VPN and I just quickly and I'm done with it one day I had um, a user um, uh, who gave me a conference number uh, so I called the conference number and the conference number actually didn't work so I was like okay you know what I got the screen setup done I did the join me as actually when you're doing conference you're gonna be doing a start meeting so when I do start meeting I just do this right here when they're start meeting and then you click on a call by phone and then you can call this number and put this pin code and uh, he uh, we were able to do the conference so it's also really great uh, for a conference too so if you have a multi uh, 10 users that want to do conference together you guys can do this right here and do if you want to do it via internet there's a little bit more to it but then you just want to keep this one right here. you don't want to share your number you can do that so see how quick this video was but there could be a lot of problems you can solve it just by using these tools um, with home users normal user anyone in conventions and stuff like that so go ahead try it out on your home PCs here and there with your friends uh, or if you're also in a company or working try test it out and if you know if, uh, better ones some good easy ones reply to my um, uh, form uh, to this video uh, in, in that form and uh, send me um, uh, the links for the other ones and I'll check it out okay thanks bye